Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Cthulhu Saves the World. In the last episode, we started the game, and now we're here at Miskatonia. And yeah, um, I think we have to go to the Hall of Heroes, I think. I think that's the next area we have to go to. Um... All right, so welcome to the world map. I'm not exactly sure where the hell we're supposed to go. Oh, the bridge is out. So yeah, um... So yeah, there's a thing in the middle of the ocean there. I wonder if that's a shrine. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm kind of going to play this game blind. At least with Breath of Death, I, uh... I ended up... Um... Yeah, honestly, I don't really care, I guess. I'm not going to run away from a lot of battles. Oh, we got a punk rocker. get the healer so HP and MP or no I'm just gonna go with the main stats let's see where we are here is this the whole ninja burial ground really you know what let me let me save the game in case I'm not supposed to be coming here yet Ninja Burial Ground. I feel like this game is a little more... Well, I mean, I know I'm just in the beginning. But I kind of feel like it's a little... It feels a little more balanced than the other game. I feel like I'm doing more damage. That could just be me, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I already kind of like this game a little bit more because it, there's more... Yeah, but anyways, I, I kind of like the idea of the game because... Hello, doggy. Alright, so now we have to fight the ninja spirit. Alright, so let's use this. That was close. Alright, so the dog probably ran back. That's good. Alright, there we go. Woohoo! But yeah, I already like that the characters are a little more, um... How would you call it, like, animated, or... They have a little more, um... 
pizzazz to him, I guess. Rather than, um... And breath of death, you know. Full heal. Oh yeah, I like that. Full heal all day. But yeah, it seems like uh, Cthulhu has more of a personality than Dem. I mean, and I'm not gonna complain about it. I, I just think like you know, you, you had your first game, you know, you, you you're only gonna get better from that. It's like with Dragon Warrior, you know, that first game it, is pretty good, but uh, you know, it gets better. Ooh, I like Nightfall. Yeah, because Cthulhu will get extra bonus for in the insanity. All right, kid, you got anything for her? Trance Sword. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a vocabulary. Yay, praise me! Yes. See, that's why I think it's funny. No, I don't want to fight. I want to equip. That's not bad, that strength stinks. Ah, hold on to it. Was there something I had to... Fleece tunic and steel swords and a dress. Let's go to the armory and see. I don't think I have enough money to buy anything. That's the library. Here we go. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. She already has that. But what is this armor here? Heroin dress. I'll have to... I'll have to... It's... Oh, man. It is so expensive. It is so expensive. But yeah, the idea to have, uh, the idea to have, uh, I kind of like the idea of having, um, you know, like these director's cuts things. It's kind of interesting. Especially since I'm only going to play through the game once. You know, or maybe eventually I'll play it again, but for the time being, I'm, I think I'm only going to play it once. Yeah, see, we have to go to the shrine here. This is the Shrine of Heroes. First, make strong punch Magellan, dash the daring Alma, the younger hero, rescue man boy. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, um, unfortunately, no, I didn't catch them all. Unfortunately. It's probably because I stink at it. Yeah, look like look at these ghost knights. They kind of look like uh, the ghosts from the uh, first game, paladins or whatnots. Insane! Insane in the membrane! Insane in the brain! I guess we'll go this way. Although I wonder what is over on the other side. Yeah, but we have gargoyles and solar... 
sore hearts. You know what? Let's go back. God damn it. Be nice. You know, it'd be nice to have like a map function. Reminds me of, like something out of like Legacy of Kane. Wow. 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 Or no, you know what? Even better. It reminds me more of um. Legend of Zelda. That's what. There we go. I'm like in. I'm like in the um. The. The friggin' thing of time or something. The Temple of Time. What about they just using that just to like for like a, a vo uh, you know just to practice singing. Ah, uh, nice. You know what? I didn't even read these. I've been trying to get a TV deal for years. That's funny. That's funny. I should read some of the uh, things. Wow! I'll be the temple of time. I wow! <laughs> I'm the coolest. All right, so we're looking for a switch. God damn it. Hmm. Let's go with that. I know it's gonna... Look at all these goddamn statues and shit. You know, for being a shrine of heroes, you gotta admit that this place is kinda shitty. And it's long, like, it's a big shrine. You know what I mean? It's a big shrine. For heroes, shit. How about I get over there? Oh, we got a new enemy. He needs more belt. I'm the wizard. 
I hit a birthday party. Oh, dude, he's got a lot of... Ex I didn't even notice how much HP he had. There we go. I gotta go all the way back around the friggity diggity. But yeah, these guys got some serious music going on here. It's good stuff. Interesting. Everyone's strength has been permanently raw by 10. That's kind of nice. That's an interesting thing. Yeah, because I usually hoard. They are right. I do usually hoard mine till near the end of the game. I just attack. Oh no. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, the controller. Fucking shut off, goddamn controller. But yeah, stat boosting items, very cool. I'm glad, I'm glad that they did that. That it, it, at least it gives it to everybody, right? That's cool. No one's gonna die again on his watch. Oh, that was so close. That was a very close victory. God, this is taking forever. This shrine sucks. It's too big. It's only the second dungeon. It's already this big. Nine battles left. get to a save point soon. I need a healing. One of the many ways Cthulhu saves the world is better than Breath of Death. The beginning is an inclusion genre defying puzzles, a locked door, and a switch to unlock the door. Genius! Alright. But I think it's a pretty good game. So far, Breath of Death, you know, is pretty good, but... This one's a little bit better.
the steel sword. No! Take the MP. Oh, my God. Yeah, so like if I move around too much on this friggin' thing. If I move around too much with this controller, it'll, it'll, like, unsync or something. It's a PS4 controller, but I am using, like, DS4 to play this game. I'm surprised they didn't have any other, like, things... Oh, come on. I'm surprised they didn't have any other, other things that you can control the game with. I miss being able to play... I miss being able to play... These types of games on my PS2 controller. At least when I plugged that in, it didn't go haywire and go, Hurry, is it, are you working? Are you not working? Are you working? Are you not working? I'm like, no, I'm working. Now stop it. Oh, shit. I'm going three more battles left. someone really gets, uh... Yeah, these combos aren't helping. They suck. Combos suck. Here we go. Here's the door. Just gotta attack. Gotta attack. Gotta attack. Attack, 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 Let's get to the hero shrine, and I'm gonna stop the game. I don't know which way to go, I just wanna get to the save. Trident. Hmm. Alright, I'll take it. 
All right, no more random battles. Now I can finally just walk through here. All right, so we saved there. Here we are at the Shrine of the Heroes. Very nice looking out there. Let's see if we can become a true hero. Like the heroes from Final Fantasy. Maybe we need to get a rat's tail or something. Look at this giant sword. Uh oh, what is this like the uh, seven star, seven star sword or something? Ha 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 ha! Ah, way higher HP. That's funny. Yeah, but Star Dragon Sword from Tsukoden 2 and 1, you know, that's, uh, that's where that guy comes from, I think. A talking sentient sword, hmm. Nah, I'd rather have Slow Strike. Is this true? Master Swordsman, I mean Sword Sword. <laughs> Yay, more power. Yeah, all right, so there we go. We now have a new ally, Sharp. He is a sen flying sentient sword. That's pretty cool. Very cool, that is funny. The last time I had a, a sentient sword in my group besides Sukadun is uh, Tales of Destiny. So yeah, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're going to head uh, back to the shrine, uh, or head back home, or wherever the hell we got to head, and uh, do something. Let's see what we got to do next. So I've been Kitchen1913, I'll see you later, bye bye